You see this guy right here, right? I can't do this. I was never good at weather. I need Diane out here. You see him? Buckskin Bill. And we've been teasing you long enough. It's time to bring the man back into the studio. Buckskin Bill, thank you so very much for being a part of this and coming back into a studio that you made, you know, magical for 35 years. <laughs> thank you, Matt. You're very gracious. You're very generous. And uh, I don't remember the guy behind <laughs> me. I, it was. That's one of the first, that outfit we started in a brown outfit. Yeah. And I wore that. They lasted about three months. And then I went to white outfits Maybe because they were showy. Oh, I understand. Well, how many outfits did you actually go through? How many How many would you run oh, through in a year or a decade? In a year's time, we would go through about six or seven. Wow. And we kept one pristine for personal appearances in which I change clothes and back alleys and all that and get in because they're hot in the summer, cold in the winter. Yeah. Our forefathers were hardy human beings to wear buckskins. <laughs> and then uh, I kept one for rain and you, you know, one for Storyland yeah, where we did not have guests, Matt. And then one for the Buckskin Bill show where Certainly. we did have guests. You, you talk mm -hmm. about the, the, the shows and obviously you know, being here right now, I imagine it brings a, a flood of memories back. When you saw this trail, this train of kids walking through here doing the same thing that you got started all those years ago, I guess the memories must have just become, I mean, it's got to be overwhelming all this. Well, yeah, it is. Uh, you know, I often wondered during the elephant walk when the children came through and I would see uh, piggy banks and yes. fruit jars and sacks and they were dumping their pennies into that safe which Alford Lock and Safe yes. had made for us. And, and I wondered sometimes, are we doing the right thing? Is this right? Should I be taking their money? The whole idea was, look, the grown-ups voted the bond issue to build the Greater Baton Rouge Zoo. Why don't we buy the biggest animal in the zoo, which is an elephant? Yeah. And so we started with pennies. Uh, one of my advisors, whom I respected very much, and I worked through things before we did promotions, Mervyn Reeves, I talked with him an hour or so, and he said, Buckskin, you're going to be collecting pennies for 150 <laughs> years, you'll never make it. And I said, well, Merv, I'm going to give it a try. And it didn't take, oh, uh, several months, and I announced, well, the elephant walk is over. No, we have enough right. pennies. That's right. Boy, the switchboard operator was back to the studio. We'd blown another circuit. And when we blew our circuit in that era, we blew Baton Rouge General Hospital circuit. I don't know. They were all tied up. <laughs> and uh, people were calling in, or, or especially in the area, because they wanted to be a part of this. Not anything I was doing. But the community wanted to be a part. I'm getting a ramp up. I'm getting to. Uh, hey, see, you know why? Because you, you've done this for so long. You've been a part of this for so long. You know all the little sneaky tricks we do behind the cameras to, well, to keep I know us what on that time. Means. Yeah. <laughs> we're not, no, we're not, don't worry. We're not quite done with Buckskin yet. He's too give much the, a big part of this for him to just sit up here for a few minutes and then go away. Give me the fist at five. The fit, right. I'll, the I'll the hook off. comes out later. <laughs> and that's just for me. They wouldn't do that for you. Get the hook. We're going to come right back with much more Buckskin Bill. Again, we could not do this without him. Still plenty more of the Elephant Oasis special. We'll see you in a minute. Welcome back, everybody, to our Elephant Oasis special. You know, we just heard from Buckskin Bill getting uh, ready for the Monday morning march right there, a time-honored tradition. And joining us in the studio is one of Buckskin's biggest fans, our very own Secretary of State, Jay Darden. Good to see you this morning, Mr. Secretary. You too, Matt. Good to be with you. Tell me a little bit about your experiences as a child growing up watching this man right here to your right. I was a child of the 60s in Baton Rouge and anyone who was a child of the 60s in Baton Rouge knew this guy and, and there are very few people you can look at and say that they've been beloved all their life, particularly someone who's gotten into public service like Buckskin did in later life, but, but that's what he's been. I mean, there are all of us who grew up in Baton Rouge in the, in the 60s participated in this Buckskin Bill saying Baton Rouge needs a zoo and we would not have a zoo if it were not for Buckskin Bill Black. So I get goosebumps coming back into the studio today and remembering those days. I really do because it was a it was a great part of my childhood and, and I got to meet the Cisco kid. I'll tell you that was a that was a big deal. You remember the Cisco Duncan kid? Duncan Ronaldo certainly do. Of course you were muscular dystrophy. Jay was the national team president for the Muscular Dystrophy Association. I haven't quite labeled it properly but uh, across the nation. Yeah, but I, I started giving as a, a child, bringing pennies to the studio, though. That was uh, my first volunteer effort in school. Well, look what you did, Buckskin, the influence you had. You got Secretary of State over here. was a big fan of yours as a kid, and look what you've done. Obviously, you did something right for 35 years. <laughs> How important is it to, for us to continue this effort now, today, 
helping the zoo once again. Well, this is a great thing that the station is doing and all your great sponsors to make this happen because the zoo now is a great part of Baton Rouge and it can be an even better part. And this is a great way for the community to participate and most importantly for young people to be able to participate and feel a little bit of ownership in something that they're doing. So when they go to the zoo, they'll know that they had a hand in, uh, in making this elephant oasis a reality.